Right there, and it's not going to last for long because this is the big story. We've got a disturbance off of Central America set to become a tropical system in the next couple of days before quickly making a landfall as soon as Thursday on what could be our own panhandle. Yeah, just west of Orlando, about a 70 to 90 percent chance for the next few days. The spaghetti models are out for this one, and there's an overwhelming agreement consensus that it'll make a landfall anywhere from Tallahassee and Apalachicola Bay eastward to perhaps as far east as Levy County, Cedar Key. Now, obviously, the farther east it goes, the closer we'll have as far as impacts go here. We, at the very minimum, could see tropical storm force winds in Orlando with hurricane force winds along the mangroves of the Nature Coast from Levy County and Citrus Counties, Crystal River, for instance, northward through Horseshoe Beach in Dixie County, and maybe up through Steenhatchee and up toward the Perry area, not unlike Hurricane Debbie earlier this year and Edalia last year. Yeah, this is the European model taking a hurricane, a minimal hurricane, into that region by Thursday evening before dissipating over the southeast with heavy rain. The GFS model, the American model, a very similar setup, but a stronger setup as it brings this hurricane at the time, Thursday morning pre-dawn, about uh, 150 miles off of Tampa Bay and then rolling northward toward it looks like about Dixie County and then yeah that would mean tropical storm force winds for Orlando and hurricane force winds for Gainesville potentially in gusts with obviously sustained winds of the coastline uh, there'd be storm surge and, and also a tornado threat now our uh, our Fox model our exclusive Fox model you can only see this one on Fox 35 historically he's done a great job tracking these with the potential and the intensity and this one's actually suggesting we may see a stronger hurricane that goes a little bit farther east, making a landfall closer to, say, Crystal River and, uh, and Cedar Key. That's Levy County. That would bring tropical storm force winds to Orlando, as well as isolated tornadoes and rounds of rain that could result in some isolated flooding, but far greater impacts as you get up into the Big Bend area. So rapid intensification from tropical depression, which could form later today, into a hurricane over the next 48 to 72 hours with a landfall inside of three days, not including today, so it'd be Thursday, so you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and be Thursday evening most likely, targeting our panhandle and the eastern panhandle at that. The name would likely be Helene, although if a system in the eastern Atlantic gets going first, it's also likely to develop over the next few days. That could give the H name, and then this would become Isaac. So we'll have to watch that carefully. Uh, don't focus so much on the name just yet. That's just a, a classification as humans apply to it so they can more easily identify the system in question.